videos are going to be a little bit different here we are taking the lake express about to go out the south gap in milwaukee there's downtown milwaukee right there and we got ourselves a beautiful morning taking my son here to a camp over in michigan and then my dad and i got the hobie kayaks down below in our car we're gonna go fish branch first bay little bay to knock and all sorts of rivers in between this should be a fun time just exiting the south gap right now about to get on shore here and drive our kayaks off. Well, we made it, Grand Traverse Bay, we are here. Our kayaks are launched right down this path and this is the last of what I need to bring down the trail. So we're gonna take this last piece down and day one of the father-son kayak fishing excursion around Lake Michigan at Grand Traverse Bay, going for bass and we'll see what else is biting. Let's do it. And it floats, looking good here. Bayside Park, let's go check it out. Where are the fish? How about right by that dock? Or how about right by that iron wall? There we go. Or how about over there by that wall? Or how about by that dock? Or by that wall? Or under that dock? Or by that jet ski? My dad and I made it to our next spot here. We are in Manistique, Michigan, and we got our kayaks loaded. We got a Hobie Passport, and I got my 360 loaded and hoping to catch some bass and pike, whatever else is biting here, on our father-son trip around Lake Michigan during this mid-June week. As you can see, I got every rod in the world loaded. We got spinner baits, wacky worms, Ned rigs, and we have fly rods even in here in the current. We're gonna try some swinging streamers and poppers. So about eight rods. And if I can't catch a fish here and if my dad can't catch a fish, we're gonna go ahead and auction off our stuff for about a nickel per rod and real combo because uh, we're not uh, worthy of keeping these rods. Let's go catch some fish. And we're in. And it seems to be floating with all the gear I got. Good deal here. Skag down, rudder down, transducer down, and forward we go. Just switching over here to an Ashini drop shot minnow. I'm hoping this weight will keep it right out of the snags because there's just stumps and trees everywhere and I'm hooking into them with my Ned Leach, Ned Rig, even spinner baits getting it. So hoping that I can feel the weight kind of bump along those snags and catch them with this. So we'll keep at it. Right now we're sitting in just five feet of water. Let's see where these fish are. Oh, there's a bite. There we go. First cast with, with the drop shot minnow from Nishini. What do we got, a smallie. There we go. Ooh, look at all the crayfish he's spitting up. They look like they're feeding off the bottom even though he took the Nishini drop shot. Got him. There we go, first Manistique River fish. And there it is, first smallie of the father-son excursion. Drop shot minnow from Nishini, got the job done, kept it out of the snags like I was hoping. And it's what these things are feeding on besides the crayfish I saw. Uh, nice. I a nice sand beach here, gonna retool. Well, I'm holding the first smallmouth of the trip in my hands. All right. There it is. Keep it going. Let's. Let this guy go in this kind of tamarack colored water here. All right, we are in the midst of a dam here. That one looks like it's been demolished and half working over there and half broken. And then we got this thing here that's big eddy and big pool. I'm gonna work my way through that fast current and try it in there. I'm gonna try cast real quick in here and hope to not catch the rocks. 
Oh, got one. Look at that. Look at that. It was a northern. Just had it on. I don't know if you could see it. And we got our campsite calling us here from a little bait and knock. Better get that. Well, I've been fishing below this dam here for about an hour and a half. Drop shot. We've put a Senko on. I've used a fly, used a Ned rig. Now I have a swim bait. Not a single nibble. So I'm about to head downstream here, but it's amazing how good this looks. How rocky. You got 12 feet. Saw some fish splashing. I don't know if they're rough fish or what, but anyway, we'll keep trying it. A couple more minutes, and then we're going to work our way back down to the launch. Hopefully, pick up some more fish. Oh, there's a bite. Got him. Got him. How big are you? Eh, he's not very big. But we got him. Come on over. All right, Smalley. At least I got my Nishini minnow still. Let's catch some bigger ones. There we go. Okay. Rock bass! We got ourselves the first rock bass of the father-son trip. This is not a trophy by any means, but new fish species. I got a little overexcited. Back you go. Here we go. Oh, we got off. Hit that thing so fast I thought I had a snag. Oh, I was daydreaming. Yep, right there. A little island kind of drops off to about eight, nine feet where I'm sitting, and he wanted it. He was a good one. Seen some weeds for the first time here. Not very much vegetation, but we got some uh, lily pads. Let's see if there's a Senko eating fish nearby. Oh, there's a bite. Got him. Got him. I don't no idea what we got. This feels pretty good though. He's in the lily pads. Come on. Come on. Oh yeah. Got a large mouth here. On the Senko. Who would have thought? And he's a nice one, but we got him. This is totally a largemouth spot. You can see all the weeds and just no current in here. And there he is, beautiful largemouth on the Senko. And we still got it right there. Nice unexpected largemouth making the day here as the evening unwinds. Just made it into this little marina here. I'm gonna take a couple casts with the Senko because it just screaming that bait. Got a little bit of time left to try it under the docks before the day is over. I'm hoping to hook up with something before you gotta call it quits. Oh, big swirl. Got it. What do we got? What do we have here? I have no idea. Come on, drag. Come on, drag. Whoa. What just ate? I have no idea if this is a small mouth, large mouth. Oh, but he's big. What is this? Is this a carp? I mean, he's big. Come on, stay hooked. Stay hooked. He's got so many weeds on him. <laughs> He's a big smallie. He's a big smallie. Let's go. Make the day. Look at him. Oh, he's big. <laughs> got him. What a fish. Look at this. Look at that big smallie. That's what we came here for. The one fish that made the day. Oh, sweet. 
just barely hooked too. He was ready to come out. How cool was that? Just a beastly fat smallie. We're gonna let him go. But that one made the trip so far. All right, smallie. We are gonna let you go. And there he goes. 